Yo, what's up everybody, how's it going? Today we're playing some Dota 1x6, made by Zeno, of course. You already know how this all goes. Before we get into the game, can I ask you a question? What do you think is the hero that at the International Tournament Series, so the entire thing, all of the internationals, which hero has been picked and banned the least? It's not who you expect, because I expected it to be Techies, but it's not Techies. Techies is number two. Who do you think is number one? Give it a moment. It's Underlord. Yeah, yeah. surprising, isn't it? Like, I thought it might be Ricky or Meepo, but no, it's Underlord. <laughs> I mean, I guess it kind of makes sense. The hero was, I, I think he was added after TI5, so he kind of like has less TIs to pull from, but you know, that doesn't really matter that much. Like Marcy has still uh, like 100, 200 picks. Anyway, I hope you guys uh, enjoy the video and let's get into it. Okay, we are playing Legion Commander. Let's get a Quelling Blade, let's get some boots, let's get overwhelming odds. I just played around as Ogre Magi and we lost to a Legion Commander, so I salty picked Legion Commander. <laughs> Anybody else do that? If I lose to a hero, I'm like, fucking bullshit hero, just fucking bullshit, and then pick the hero myself. Um, do I want damage? I guess I got stars or something. A 50 gold per minute? Nah. Nah, I don't like the gold per minute stuff. It's just like, I don't know. It's just not worth it. You know, just get get yourself something that's an actual upgrade instead. Instead of going for gold per minute, which has the potential of eventually being an item. But, you know, who cares about eventually being an item. Okay. Uh, we're also going to go for the Falcon Blade, of course. And then I'm thinking we'll go for a dual-based build. Dual time. Du -du -du dual time. We'll see how that works out. I mean, it's a build that requires us to get a bit lucky in the early game. It's not a build that is very dependable, sadly. It very much requires us to kind of get some early dual kills that we can then use to kind of snowball from there and continue getting dual kills. But hey, maybe we can do it. Who knows? All right, hello, friends. I gotta bait this out really quick, else we're gonna die to this. Thank you very much. We'll see um, if we can get another stack here. It's gonna be a bit tight on the timing. It might not be a full stack, but maybe, 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 maybe. Okay, good. I think we did get it. I think we got the double. Very nice. That's the advantage of Legion Commander. She just has a nice, like, castable ability. Big range, throw it in there, helps you get the stack. And uh, that, that really is very beneficial. So we are next to a Legion Commander and a Shadow Fiend. So Legion Commander and Shadow Fiend, sorry, we're next to a Lina and a Shadow Fiend. Uh, those are very much killable heroes, but of course they do a lot of damage. So uh, that's gonna be kind of the scary bit there. We're gonna see if we can maybe do something against them anyway. Um, we'll, we'll just kind of have to try. We might actually get a blade mail here. Blade mail in this mode isn't as good as it is in normal Dota. Instead of providing a lot of um, damage return, it offers a bit of healing at the end of the blade mail, but it also uh, does much, much less damage return, which means it's not really that good. Yes. Refresh, okay. Mmm. Yes. Well, that's not great. When your health drops below 30%, your armor increases by 30 and moment of courage while I steal increases to 200%. I guess we get this. I'm gonna keep slamming this in here. Just gonna keep hitting. Just gonna keep hitting with my Q. I'm just chipping away at this camp. I'm not planning on killing it all in one go. I think that's gonna be very difficult to do. But I don't also, I don't really see a reason why we would need to do that. Right? Like it's totally fine, in my opinion, to just chip away at it and we'll kill it when we get around to it. All right? Here's another one, just throw that in there. Pick up this. Both duelists gain 40 attack speed. Very good. Of course, it is a little bit risky because somebody might show up and take it, but people don't tend to necessarily check for this. So I'm just kind of hoping that they don't. <laughs> All right, let's get strength. Pick up this, Blades of Attack. 
and we'll run in over here. One more nuke, one more overwhelming odds will clear out this camp. Well, nearly, but close enough. There we go. We have dual now, which is probably gonna be not that usable just yet. Uh, we likely want to get some actual... Oh, Ooh, this is two extra seconds of dual time, essentially. Now we get, uh, if we if we manage to kill them after the duel is over, we still get a dual win. Which, that's actually a really important one. That's nice to have already. Hmm. Okay. Alright, slam this in here. We can get that stack going on. And then we're gonna deal with Lich. And then we'll see. I mean, Blink Dagger seems like the obvious choice. With a Blink Dagger, we can close the distance. But of course, we have the Falcon Blade. The Falcon Blade and uh, the... Uh... There you go, take this. The Falcon Blade and a Smoke. You can actually get pretty damn close already. There you go. So, plus one second dual oration. And we can use dual, uh, we can use this to increase the power of our next dual. I'm gonna go ahead and just dual a creep for our first dual though. We can dual creeps, they give us a little less damage, but they still give us some damage. Alright, so we currently have eight bonus damage. That's kind of like the thing we try to do with Legion Commander. We try to just repeatedly hit duels on creeps, and then if we can get duels on heroes, that is very, very helpful, of course. But dual on creeps is kind of enough to sort of sustain us. Do we get a blade mail? Let's get a blade mail. We're Legion Commander after all. I feel like I feel like as Legion Commander, you gotta get a blade mail, right? Okay, hello. We'll go ahead and uh, contest this a little bit. I am wondering where the Lena is. Maybe we can figure that out. Oh, she's just sitting in the base. There's a duel. Ooh. Nice. Very good. See? We can close that gap pretty nicely. <laughs> okay. Hmm. I guess I'm gonna max this out. I don't think it's that important, to be completely honest, but I guess we'll we'll go for it. Okay. Did the last player have played me? I don't know. In my salty counterpicking, I sadly only saw the Legion Commander in the late game. So I can't tell you exactly if they had if they had a uh, a blade mail. But that's okay, we have our own little tool here now. So blade mail in this mode, right, returns 40%, but at the end of it we get healed. Uh, which the healing can actually be pretty helpful, I think. Do I try to? There's a Shadow Fiend over there. Alright, we'll ramp this up. I have enough mana, right? Yeah, I need 240... No, I don't have enough mana. I do not actually have enough mana. Okay, now I do, now I do. Hello. Hmm. I panicked a little bit. I think I should be able to get this though. Yeah. Good. 450 dual cast range. And I will charge towards the target if I cast a duel on it outside of range. Ooh, that's bad. We're gonna run. We're gonna run, run, run. Uh, I think that we might lose our patrol, unfortunately. If you're facing a target, I take less damage from it. Yeah. Okay. It's not too bad, because we did get a duel before it, so I feel good about that. And the patrol is, um, you know, like we stole a patrol, patrol ourselves. So, that's okay. That's okay. Uh, Agonims. Agonim's Shard. We do want both of these quickly. Is that right? But I also probably want to get damage to kind of like maximize my chances of even getting duels. 
So Aghanim's shot increases dual. Uh, dual victory bonus damage by 10, and dual disables target's passive ability and reduces healing. And then with Aghanim's shard, the target is a creep, the ability cooldown is reduced. We like both of those things, they are both great. It is not time for shard yet, though. No, that's not online yet. Hmm. Here's where we are encountering the problem. We have gotten two kills, but those two kills are on heroes uh, that now have that beautiful, beautiful, fun little debuff on them. Okay, blade mail. There's my healing. Thank you. And ooh, oh, you have something fun too. Ooh, okay. The Legion Commander has not Legion Commander, Lena has this. When you receive lethal damage, you gain a maximum gain maximum fire soul stacks and heal. So what that essentially means that is that, that takes care of my problem. I can now kill her. Also, she has so much money now. But Lena is a very fast farming hero, so that's not too much of a problem. Mm -hmm. Activate this. Our next duel gives us double the dual bonus. Oh, crap. Come on. Oh, Blink Dagger. Yep. Cool. TP is all very slow. Nice. So, we get double the bonus. Uh, this will be particularly relevant. Oh, that didn't do damage. Okay, weird. This will be particularly relevant later, because we have an upgrade that makes it so we get uh, attack speed for kills on agility heroes and cooldown reduction, I think, for kills on int heroes. But getting kills on agility heroes is awesome, because we get attack speed, and that sort of fixes up a problem we have, right? Hey, it's Cool DJ Bami again, and I'm coming in with some fresh beats for you to leave a like on the video. Thank you very much. Let's get back to the music. Let's get some extra armor. Let's get the higher level duel. Uh, we can use this to get vision on the Lena. I already used my smoke to catch up right there. Okay. She's going to trigger her healing. But the healing is limited. Yeah. Because it's not an actual 40% heal. I know the Shadow Fiend is here. Um, it's not... Oh, wow. Nice. Good job. It's not actually a 40% heal. But instead, it um, is an ability that... So I think this is probably going to end up a BKB, not, not a Desolator. But instead, the way it works is that it um, gives you that healing and then you take that damage again. So they can kind of restore their health. I think overall, this early game is working out very nicely for us. The main thing that we care about is, well, we're, we're actually doing fine on money. Like, money is looking okay. It's not super god tier awesome, but it's not terrible by any means. But uh, what I do care about is getting dual wins, and we are getting that. All right, during the duel, you cannot die. That seems good. Um, maybe not that good, but hey, we'll take it. What else does it? When the duel ends, I heal for 20%. Oh, dear. Okay. It just, they just keep coming, don't they? All right, we're going to have to go back. We're going to have to go back. Are we doing this? Are you sure about this, friend? Yeah, I didn't think so. I want to go back and I really would like to get the uh, um, the white orb for this. So We'll activate this so we can get a duel. Oh, we're going to be dueling some creeps now. Because heroes are risky, as you might have figured out. <laughs> heroes are stressful. Oh, crap. Mm -hmm. 
All right, we're running. We've got a heal. It's all good. It's all good. I don't have dual ready. Without dual, I don't really want to fight. There's Alina. Hmm. Okay. Obviously not great that I missed that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This Lina build is very strong. We played this earlier today. We've been playing a lot of Monarch 6 today. Alright, charge, duel. Oh, Shadow Fiend. Okay, cool. I mean, we got the duel win. Is this mine? No, that's, that's the Shadow Fiends. Fine. <laughs> that's fine. I got the kill. I'm happy. Hello, what's up? Alright, goodbye for the second time, I think? Third time? Alright, goodbye. She told me like half an hour ago that she's leaving. I didn't know she was even home. Alright, let's get this. Slam this bad boy so we can get a duel here. 3, 2, 1. There we go. And now, duels give you additional bonuses depending on target's primary attribute, including already one duels. So now we get extra attack speed for... Um, we just got 50 attack speed. For killing the for killing the shadow thing. I mean that sounds pretty fantastic, doesn't it? I'm pretty happy about an extra 50 attack speed here. This is the Shadow Fiend's orb. Do I camp it? I think I camp it. Right? The Shadow Fiend will want to pick this up. Okay. And that should be a kill. Nice. Yeah, that charge kind of negate. Oh, crap. Not again. <laughs> There's always a Legion. Uh, not always a Legion. There's always a Lina, dude. I mean, I guess from their perspective, there's always a Legion commander. Uh, but there's always a Lina. She pops up out of nowhere all the time. It's all good, though. Let me just pick up the bounty rune and then teleport back. And we almost have our... We almost have our Arganims. Activate this here. I mean, you can see we already do just huge amounts of damage. Just insane amounts of damage. Which is, of course, absolutely fantastic. I mean, that's kind of the goal, right? Mm, I guess I'll get some mana. I don't ever really hate the free mana region upgrade. I think one of them is useful on pretty much any hero. It doesn't matter that much who you play. You can pretty much always get value out of just getting like one level of that. Pick up the bounty rune. Both duelists gain 60 attack speed. This bottom area is just like intense in terms of fighting. But I'm coming out ahead. So I'm pretty happy about that. Alright, more duel. Is there... Am I gonna duel anyone right now? No, right? I mean, I guess I could try to contest this top area, but I don't think I will. Also, duel doesn't have that long a cooldown. I think the Shadow Fiend doesn't know that there's an epic here. Yeah, I was gonna kind of like set up a tent and wait it out, but I guess... I guess we're not doing that. Because the Shadow Fiend doesn't seem to be a bear. Free mana region is a lot for any hero that isn't an in spellcasting. Yeah, right? It's just actually very beneficial. Alright. Thanks to our very high damage output, we can actually... Oh, hello. 
I am leaving. Goodbye. Oh shit, she came. All right. Um, how set on this are we? Oh, you have vision up here. Okay. Ooh, damn. Damn, Lena. That build is really strong. I can easily win against her with my ultimate. I can easily win because what it, the way that build works is that you can cast the spell and then the E, and then the spell and the E, and the spell and the E, and you're just kind of always like cycling between your casts. And while you're cycling between your casts, you're doing a ton of damage and always pushing people away. So that's really good. And you know, maybe Lena has needs need, a need for for a therapist, but like setting that aside. Generally speaking, it is something that we can deal with by just hitting a duel and shutting her down. Like, she won't be able to cast, and then that takes care of that problem. Ah, shit. I don't have duel, I just used it. Okay. Uh, blade mail. Will heal. And there's a duel, and I think we win. Nice. Very good, very good. The blade mail is actually working out very nicely. It's kind of like a poor man's BKB in the early game, I feel. Like, genuinely doing pretty well. I'm, I'm quite, quite impressed. Send this back, pick up this. It's not super impressive. But it's fine. And then we can use that, kill something. If you face a target, sure. So I now have my... The only thing missing is this epic. And I'll get that after I get one more kill. Damn, I have so much attack speed. Just by killing the Shadow Fiend a bunch of times, that's great. Right, 70 attack speed. And keep in mind, this gets doubled once I get the next level here. Yeah. I've got, I've got a bit of cooldown reduction, which isn't as nice, but hey, we'll take it. Cooldown reduction isn't bad to have. Not at all. Okay. Evasion. So. Hmm. What do we buy next? I think hmm, a blink dagger should probably be. Uh, I don't know. I think a blink dagger might actually be a good idea now. I know that seems weird because the game has already been going on for such a long time and I didn't have a blink dagger yet, so why would I suddenly need it? But my thinking is this that like mobility becomes more valuable as people have mobility, right? And other heroes are starting to have it. Oh, it got cancelled. Oh, I'm going for it. Any oh, Lincoln's. Oh, shit. I need a Lincoln's break. I don't know what that's gonna be. But I need a Link Lincoln's break. Oh. Brutal. Just get a Hex? Oh, no. Okay, run, run, run. I think I win this fine, right? Like, yeah, absolutely. Okay. Time to come in over here. Ooh, dude. We just keep fighting. Oh, it's just non-stop fighting, isn't it? <laughs> it's just non-stop. I wish I could have gotten the uh, impending victory. I wish I could have gotten that in time. But it wasn't meant to be. And that would have been too big a risk to take, I think, if I tried to charge that up as well. Mm, Echo Spear. Echo Spear, I think, is a good idea. It lets me close the distance. It gives me... 
it gives me a bit of extra damage and survivability. And most importantly, it gives me something to break Lincolns with. Yep. Oh! That's disappointing. I kind of wanted the Shadow Fiend to stick around a bit longer. But yeah, he did just die at a very unfortunate timing. No buyback either. Maybe underestimated the power of the creeps. Okay, we'll get this. That seems good. But, um... I think this makes sense. That way I can break the Lincolns. And I, you know... Have a bit of extra mobility, extra utility, some decent stats. And I don't really need damage. I really don't. I don't know what I would even do with it. Okay. Oh, there's a Phantom Assassin here. Alright. Never mind. We'll just go back. I don't want to take more tower damage right now. Oh, crap. I just said I don't want to take more tower damage. That is not what I had in mind. I mean, that dude doesn't do very much tower damage, but I, I wanted to avoid even that a little bit. Okay. Nice deal, status resistance. Probably status resistance, right? How much status resistance do I have? I have two of them. Okay, that's fine. Too many of them isn't good. Two should be fine. That shouldn't qualify as too many. Okay. Yeah, when I dual creeps, uh, of course it has a shorter cooldown. I should probably be doing that a lot more than I am doing, doing it. I haven't been doing it as much, just because we are constantly fighting. And I feel like if I don't have dual ready for that, then I can't participate. You know, I'm just gonna get run over. I'm just gonna get stunned up and die and I can't defend myself. So I really need to make sure that I have to already for any potential fights. So that's why I haven't been using it on creeps as much. But I think the game is slowing down now. So it probably is gonna be fine. Alright, bounty rune. It's probably gonna be fine to just Go for some, some more duels on creeps. Oh, there's a... Do we try for it? I think we do. I think we do. I know she's around. Okay. Is that enough? But I do just need to kill her. Yeah, there you go. I don't need to kill her within the duel, right? I have a four second buffer after the duel and it will still count as a duel then. That right there, even though she didn't die inside of the duel, was a duel then. That was fine. Yeah, this is nice, the Echo Spear. In case you don't know what it does, it lets us pull ourselves to a target. So even if we don't like trigger a Lincolns, it's just gonna be a good item to have. Like that's a good effect that we like, that we care about. Right, if an opponent doesn't have a Lincolns, cool. We've closed the gap. That's a win. All right, um, we'll get the vision thing. <laughs> All right, duel. We had 323 bonus damage. God damn. That's crazy, isn't it? That is so intense. And I really feel like I could have more. I could have more if I was just like spamming it on creeps more actively during the early game. But then again, I don't regret not doing that, right? I think I actually did, I actually think we did totally fine. The way we, we did do things. Absolutely fine. Okay. So we're gonna activate this bad boy. Oh, shit. 
Ah, people are dying and I'm not getting epics for it. That's that's unfortunate. I do wanna. Okay, we can have a look around. So you're like um, spell casting, probably ultimate. You're scary. You're not that scary. I think we can probably almost certainly kill the Ember Spirit, but the Ember Spirit just running away from us. All right. Well, I'm taking the patrol then. I mean, if I can just take a bunch of patrols in a row, like uncontested, that would be perfectly fine with me. These things are absolutely worth it. They're worth a lot of money. They give us the upgrade orb or like upgrade uh, book here and they give us the upgrade orb. So if people don't want to fight me, if people don't want to interact with me, I am okay with that. Although I also wouldn't mind it if I could interact with somebody. I don't know. You want to fight? Won't go at it? I'm down for it. Oh, I don't have dual right now. See, this is the problem of using it on creeps. Then you've used it on creeps. Okay. And that should be a kill, right? Yeah, that guy doesn't have anything. That guy doesn't have anything to defend against that. Ooh, a buyback. Wow. Okay, I can't say I expected that. Hmm. I'm gonna get the passives. I don't really want anything that requires me to cast anything else because I want to be able to focus entirely on just casting my ultimate. What does this do? It just makes it so that the next duel gives me double the bonuses. So it's very nice because it just like makes my duels more valuable. And uh, I like that. <laughs> let's get strength. All right, let's pop these two. See what's going on. Uh, vision is good. And oh, that's very nice. Okay. So we will pop this one right away. And I think we get rid of the blade mail now. And what do we buy? I think I just get a basher, right? Like we're gonna need a basher anyway. MKB would also be acceptable, I think. Like an MKB wouldn't be a bad idea because of the uh, Phantom Assassin. She is an E build, which is very strange. Um, but uh, hey, I mean, I guess that would be something, right? Okay, there is a Terror Blade. Can we win against Terror Blade? Can we win against Phantom Assassin? Can we win against anybody? What is going on here? Oh, that's a Lena that's been summoned. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and just be an asshole to the Ember Spirit. And get this, very good. Sure, let's do it. I think I can win. Ooh, am I dueling, what? What? What is this scam? All right, come on. Oh, what? What? Okay, so the Terror Blade is a very strange hard counter to me. In case you don't know what's going on, the Terror Blade has the reflection that allows him to kind of copy somebody and then make them cast abilities. So like the copy, the illusion that's summoned can actually cast spells. The problem is, that the illusion is invincible. So the illusion duels me and that just stuns me. I'm just stunned. Because I can't kill the illusion. And that is some bullshit. <laughs> that, that is some bullshit and I don't know what we can do about it because that, that's just a problem. Hmm. So what we also need, and I think this is next in line, is we just need some damage. Right? And what I mean with that is crits, specifically. I want to have crits. We hit for 800-something damage right now. Oh, shit. Ember Spirit is down. But we hit for like 800 damage right now. 
I think if we get a critical strike, things will just die. Everybody will just die. Nobody's going to have a good time anymore. Uh, except for me, of course. I'm going to have a great time. And that's pretty much the, the whole idea, right? That's the whole goal. So we're going to go ahead and take down you. And then there's still the Phantom Assassin and the Terror Blade. Those are weird builds. I don't know if we can win against them. We did well against all of the conventional stuff, but now there's only really strange stuff left. There's only just utterly bizarre, weird builds in this game. So how do we play against that? I have I have no idea. I, I honestly couldn't tell you. Couldn't tell you even a little bit. Oh, okay, there she goes. I have no idea where she is. Oh, she's back in the base. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. Well, what do we do about that now? Hmm. Okay, she disappears. She just always vanishes immediately. And it's not like I can get detection to counter that. This is not enough. I need true strike. Okay, I can't win against her without an MKB. And I can't win against that guy either, right? I think I just spooked her away with my impending victory. Oh my god, I'm just missing every attack. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and dip. We're gonna go ahead and leave. This isn't gonna work out for us. So, what does that mean? Like in practical terms. We need MKB. That's for sure, right? That's just the starting point. I need MKB. I can get rid of my my dash. I don't think I need that as badly, but I could also just consume my Aghanim Scepter first. And I do kind of like the Falcon Blade. I mean, Falcon Blade is just so good. It's so good. Yeah, I can keep... I'm pretty isolated down here, so that's good. That's a win. Ooh. Oh, dear. Okay. Just get a quick little duel win there. Alright. Pick up this. We do have farming space. I hope that the Phantom Assassin isn't gonna die. Because I don't know how well, how well she could defend against the Terror. Oh. Yep. Yeah. Okay, well then I'm changing my build. I'm gonna try to get a thousand gold. And I'm gonna try to get a uh, Dedalus instead. I think a thousand gold within the time frame is very much possible. How much. Okay, we've got all of our neutral items. I think I get this one. Okay. Cool, we have that all those. I did not get a final orb here. That's a bit disappointing. I was one kill away from getting another another epic here. So we have crits now, which are 2,000 damage crits, right? So that's pretty massive. Whether or not that ends up being enough, I guess we're about to figure out. 
Here's our final stats. 240 attack speed and 16% cooldown reduction. Uh, there were no strength heroes in this lobby apart from me, so we couldn't get any bonus HP. Okay. Well, let's try. Oh, this is such bullshit. Oh, crap. Alright. Just kill it. Oh. Come on. Nope. I'm 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 dueling myself. Oh, what do I do against that? I just I mean I gotta get lucky, right? I think that's what we do. That's our plan. We kind of chip him down a little bit, we don't immediately go for it. There's a duel again. And then there's a duel, and then we just hope we get crits. Which we didn't. But we win anyway. Okay, good. This is gonna come down to who gets crits. That's it. It's, it's just gonna be crit city, dude. Alright, we're close. We're gonna get dual. That's fine. And there's a duel, late duel, and I think that might do it. Yes! Whoo! <laughs> yeah, I was all about waiting, right? If I wait, if I wait, then the uh, Terror Blade can't asunder me when he's on low HP, right? Because he's dueling me. That was the problem in the first fight. I used the duel too early, and the Terror Blade could sunder me towards the end. Hey, we won though! Look at that! Legion Commander! Yeah, this hero is very, very powerful. She's very good. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to leave a rating on the video. I definitely appreciate that. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Goodbye.